Hey guys, it's Drea. I'm really happy to be finally filming this video. This is my video all about should I declutter? So if you've been following my channel, you know I've been doing a ton of decluttering lately. I will link to the playlist down below if by some chance you came across this video but missed my actual decluttering. Um, I've been doing some pretty savage decluttering on my channel. There are some categories where I ran across some products where I was like, I don't really remember this, or I kind of want to test out this color, or I'm just not sure if I want to get rid of this particular item. And so there were a few things that I decided to put into a box and test them out and decide if I was going to declutter them or not. And that's what this video is. So I have now determined whether or not I want to keep these particular items and I'm going to tell you why or why not. So let's start out with this. This is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. Mine is in the shade One Linen. Um, I bought this way back when, um, probably two years ago now, when Candy Johnson was the one who got me hooked on this. And I actually did a video, uh, YouTube maybe buy it video which is one of my most viewed videos on this channel um, reviewing this now at the time I did really like it it's very full coverage it's not great for oily skin it's good for oily skin so it'll last it'll last longer than some luminous foundations but it's not like a really good matte mattifying foundation so I've now been wearing this for five and a half hours today um, I actually just got home from a business meeting and <laughs> I saw on my forehead there was like these weird streaks where I guess it had rubbed away and it just looked really bad. And then in between my eyebrows here, it's like kind of grabbing onto some patches of skin, but then not on other areas. It's also got little kind of dots everywhere. And I'm just like, yeah, this is not good. <laughs> so I've actually tested this a few times since I put it in this box. And each time I'm kind of coming away with the same review, which is basically that if you have very oily skin, your oil will start coming through pretty hard after about four hours. And it really looks like you have foundation on your face. So there's nothing natural looking about this. It looks like foundation. It looks a little cakey. It looks a little cake face. Um, and I'm just not about that anymore. So I am definitely decluttering this. It's not working for me. I did get a lot of use out of this. This bottle is definitely halfway done, but um, no more. It used to be that I would wear foundation sometimes only for four hours, but now I really need foundations that will last me an entire day for sure. So that one isn't cutting it anymore. So the next product is this. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. Mine is in the shade Light. Um, I'm wearing this today. I definitely feel like my dark circles are not fully covered with this concealer. This is much more of a um, medium coverage concealer for sure and it's going to give you that natural look but for me I need fuller coverage than this. Like I know you guys can see my dark circles coming through. So this is kind of a no-go for me as well. I'm going to be decluttering this. I think it would be good for people who like don't have hereditary dark circles just when you have kind of a, a bluish tint when you didn't get enough sleep. That's totally fine. But for those of us that live with dark circles every day of our life, um, it's just not good enough. So I'm going to be decluttering that. This one is an interesting beast. This is the Jouer um, Powder Highlighter in Topaz. So I've tried this out a couple times and um, I think I might have worn this in another video or something or just wore it on a random day. And I remember thinking I didn't love the tone on my skin. Now I put it on today to test it one more time. It's what I'm wearing right now. And I was driving the car and I was blown away by how killer this highlight looked in the light, in the sunlight. I was just like, holy hell is that my cheek like what is going on it looks so pretty and right now i feel like you could tell just how intense this is um if i hadn't have worn this one more time today i would have decluttered it but today it is just looking so bomb i don't know what is going on i don't know if it's because i'm starting to get a little bit more uh, sun and my skin is just starting to look a little better because even when i swatch it i think it does look a little dark like it would be more of a dark peach on my skin, but I don't know, on my face it looks absolutely perfect. So I'm totally into this right now. Definitely keeping this. Um, also, this Hard Candy Velvet Mousse Matte Lip Color. This is in the shade Spider Orchid. This is what is on my lips right now. Woo! Okay. Yikers. So it's super bulky packaging. Um, I do like the packaging though. I think it's kind of cool. The actual 
lipstick itself is pretty sleek but the big bulky packaging there you can keep it or discard it whatever you want um i don't know why i stopped wearing this because i friggin love this look at how pretty this color is i think it's just my absolute perfect like mauvey pink on me and i love it i do really like the formula it's not a like dry down like if I kiss that highlighter that I accidentally forgot was on my lips right now, and now is on my lips, holy K, that was a mistake. Okay, I fixed it. Anyways, you could tell that it comes off. <laughs> all right, I'm three beers deep right now, you guys. Um, all right, so this I am definitely keeping. I love the color. It's fairly long lasting, like it's not gonna last you all day long or anything, but I, I really like the formula a lot. It smells really good too. This lipstick here, this is the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lipstick in Mrs. Um, I love the formula of the Ultra Satins. I think it's so nice. It's comfortable, it's creamy, it's smooth. They're really, really nice. Um, this shade here, like maybe on somebody else, would be really nice, but on me, whenever I put this on, it just looks so weird. It's a weird tone. I know you might not be able to tell just by like a swatch, but I did actually end up wearing this to test the color. That, and that's why this was in here. I was only testing the color. I know I love the formula, but this color on me just does not look right. So this is getting decluttered. Um, this lipstick here, this is the Nude Sticks Intense Matte Lip and Cheek Pencil in the shade Bell. I did not use this on my cheek. This is not something I would ever use on my cheek. It's just not for me, like cream stick products for, for blush. No, that's just not my jam. Um, but I did definitely test this on my lips really pretty color. The color was really nice, but there's something about this formula. I just don't like the way it feels. It's very waxy. Um, so it's nice that it's a pencil. You can draw it on fairly well. It's pretty creamy when it goes on, but just, it's got this waxy factor that just, I don't know. It might be personal preference. I just didn't like the way it felt. So I have enough colors that are similar to this that I didn't need to keep this. So this is going to be decluttered as well. Um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff here that's going to be decluttered, actually. So this Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Gel. I actually put this in a Products I Regret video, and I'll tell you why again. This is supposed to be a tinted brow gel. So there's a lot of product in here. This would last you so long. Um, the brush is what I hate. It's not... It's not like the Benefit Gimme Brow, which is kind of a spoolie. This is not a spoolie on the end. It's more just like a piece of foam with, like, little weird things sticking out. Um, this is very pigmented, which is actually a problem for this type of packaging because this thing is so big and bulbous that when you get to a certain point in your eyebrows, it just goes everywhere and you can't contain it and you can't keep it in the lines and it just goes all over the place. Um, one of you suggested to me to use an angled brow brush and just use the product and put it on and I did try that one time, but it's so liquidy that it really wouldn't stay in place. Um, it's not like a pomade in that way. You know, you can't just draw on your eyebrows with this. This is very liquidy and it just kind of, it needs to be brushed on. But the format of this, the actual spoolie is not a real spoolie and it just gets everywhere and I hate it. The product is so nice. I wish they would have different packaging because the actual product is a really nice tinted brow gel and it, it would be great if you could just put it in your brows, but you can't. So this is getting decluttered as well. Um, this is the Makeup Forever Aqua XL Eye Pen just in the shade it's m10 but it means black so it's really just your basic black eyeliner um, it's nice and black it's nice and creamy it transfers on me <laughs> I'll pass this on probably to Alex I know she likes these a lot um, this did not work for me at all and I'm gonna declutter it because I just can't deal with transferring eyeliners anymore I have not found any lately that won't transfer on me I don't know if it's me I don't know what's wrong with me but I cannot find non transferring uh, like pencil eyeliners. The only one that's ever worked for me is the Lancome one and I think I'm gonna have to bite the bullet and buy that one again because that's the only one that ever really worked and uh, I haven't had it for a while now so I think I'll be doing that. Okay, this eyeshadow, this is the Ardency in Monster Manuka Honey Enriched Pigment in the shade Rose Gold. This is beautiful in a swatch. Like, you guys are gonna die when you see me swatch this. It's stunningly gorgeous. There's a swatch there in the bottom. Look at how pretty that is. It's so beautiful. The problem is, it just doesn't look good on me. Again, this is totally not a formula thing. This is 100% a color preference thing. I did put this on my eyes today, and then I just didn't like it, so I put a steel of glitter on top of it. All the products I'm listing 
I'm wearing or listed down in the description bar if you're interested. But I put a glitter on top of this because I just didn't like this on myself. Um, I've used it a couple times since I did the declutter on this and it just... It, it's not the right color for me, which is a shame because it's really, really pretty. It does last a very long time. I didn't have a crease or anything like that, but it's, again, not going to work. So that's going to go. And even though this was not pulled out in a declutter, I actually decided to keep this. I've since decided to declutter it because the packaging is just crap on this. This is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Loose Pigment in the shade. Uh, it just says gold pigment. So the problem, you can see this is totally full problem with this is that it's a little shaker like who even why do they do this with pigments they make these weird shaker things on them so this opens up it's like a salt shaker and you have to like do that and it just gets everywhere and even when you're like trying to blend it out it goes everywhere that's the color the color is, isn't even that amazing like it's not like super intense it's just this kind of really sheer gold so I'm just like, this is too messy and the color doesn't do anything for me. So I'm going to declutter this as well. So out of nine things, I'm getting rid of seven and keeping only two. Um, and then there was also this bonus one that I'm getting rid of. So really out of 10, I'm keeping two. I'm keeping 20%. Hey guys, sorry, this is so weird. I have to jump in in the middle of this video because I totally forgot to talk about this one product that I have also been testing out. I think it's because I was wearing it and I had put it away to the side and I forgot to put it back in front of me. This is the NARS Translucent Crystal Powder. You can see I've used up like more than half of this product. Um, I used to love this. I used to love it for under the eye for setting my concealer. It's really great in the sense that it doesn't let your concealer move at all. Like there's no creasing. It really lasts a really long time. Um, makes your concealer set all day without any creasing. But I used this at one point in a video and I think I had really intense flashback and that made me scared to ever use it again. And that's why I was like, I'm just not sure if I want to keep this or not. So I have been using it. I've been using it in lots of videos. Have not experienced that flashback flashback at all that I can tell from watching it back when I'm editing. So in that way I think it really really works really well and I'm I'm going to keep this. The only thing that's been bothering me about it, um, and I'll just shout this out in case you're interested in this product, I'm finding that when I use it underneath my eyes, like so I'll take it about this far out, right? Whenever I go to put any product on top of it afterwards, like a blush or a highlighter, the, the highlighter or blush will not stick, well I wouldn't put blush up that high, but the highlighter will not stick. The, to this product wherever I put it. So like you can kind of see today my highlighter looks a little low. Normally I would put it up right here, but it's not sticking to this area. So there's something about this powder that it really won't let anything go on top of it. So I'm still going to keep this and I'm going to use it up because I'm going to get my money's worth out of it, but I'm going to have to use it in certain ways where maybe I'm not going super intense with my highlight that day, or maybe I'm only wearing blush that day or, or that kind of thing. So I just wanted to let you know and back to my other face. So I'm really glad that I did this because um, if you're doing a declutter, you know, sometimes you're in the moment and you want to either keep something or get rid of something. Sometimes it's a good idea to just test it out one more time because sometimes you never know. Like I said, I would have gotten rid of this if I hadn't tested it out one more time and now I'm freaking totally in love with it. So I'm really glad that I re-fell in love with that. I'm really glad I re-fell in love with this lipstick. It is so beautiful. Um, but other than that, I'm really glad that I don't have to look at all this other stuff that I don't like anymore. So that is it for today. I hope you really enjoyed this video. I hope that you found it helpful. Let me know if you have any questions at all. If you have never subscribed before, definitely subscribe before you leave. I'd love to see you around in the future and I hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope you're speaking kindly to yourself and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!